Hello and welcome back to Expo Hub channel. Today we will be looking at classify document. This is the third step in our document understanding. So what is happening in the first step? We have seen how taxonomy is created. This is a pre-processing step. So we have seen how taxonomy is created. Let me show you just to help you recall your memory. So we have installed taxonomy intelligent OCR package. And then let, let me open the taxonomy manager page. So all these videos I have shown it very very clearly in detail I have spoken about. We will just have a quick look in case you have not seen it if this is your first time I would recommend you to watch those videos first. Okay, so this is the taxonomy where we have created accounts department, right? We have created enterprise name, accounts department, invoice received. Then for HR, we have created passport and resume. So like that, we have created what are the document types and how we have organized, right? We have organized everything. Taxonomy means organizing. So we have done that arrangement here, right? Next thing what we have done, the next thing is digitize. Using intelligent OCR, we can provide the receipts scan documents non-digital documents right we can provide them as an input using intelligent ocr it is automatically going to convert them to digital output so that i have shown you in the previous video here you can see i have used this receipt if i go back let me show you so this was the receipt okay using this receipt we have provided into the omni page ocr which has converted this scanned image into a doc into a digital format so if I open this output text I have shown you in the previous video, the output text contains, it has all automatically converted that image into a digital format now, right? I can see all the numbers, all the date, see bill number 18925. If I go back to that image, bill number is 18925. So everything is coming properly. Date is so and so, June 26, 2021. Now if I go back, so here if I open this text, right build it is june 20 so everything is coming properly so i'm fine with this now what happened in this both the steps is in first step we have created the taxonomy and in the second step we are converting if it is a non-digital document it will convert into digital output if you are providing a digital input for example invoice pdf something like that anyways that will stay as a digital output without using intelligent OCR. so that much we have understood okay that should be pretty clear in your mind then only you will understand classify. So once you have converted that into digital output, which is a text output, just now I showed you that notepad, right? So that is a text output has come. Now using that text output, you can provide, see, imagine you can provide a receipt. So if, if you are providing a receipt, next you can provide a PDF, next you can provide a resume, next you will be providing a passport. So you can provide various different documents, right? So how how your UI path studio should understand okay the first document what you have sent provided was a receipt and the second one was a resume third one was a passport fourth one was an invoice it has to understand right you are providing some documents back and forth right you, you are providing one by one document it's providing it is converting to digital output but how this will understand the taxonomy you have created the arrangement that you have created the first document what you have provided was a passport it was a receipt so it should tag it right it should tag whatever document you have processed just now that was an invoice it should automatically understand okay this was an invoice the second one what you, what you have provided is a passport the third one what you have provided was a resume the fourth one was an invoice the fifth one was an invoice so it should be able to automatically understand and identify so that is where using this machine learning keyboard classifier okay using the machine learning technique this can be done easily so i am going to show you that in ui path okay so you understood what the classify means classify means you are classifying the document whatever you are scanning and converting that into digital output you are classifying that okay that should be part of invoice that should be part of whatever you have declared in the taxonomy that should be part of resume that should go to passport so that is what it, it is a linking between this two first and second you are doing a linking okay because these are two individual activities they are not dependent on each other but the third one is trying to link both of them so that is called classify that concept should be pretty clear now let's do one thing to classify just type document understanding to classify you will be using 
classify document scope activity okay so classify document scope activity we will be using okay one thing to make it slightly easy see the entire path that you are writing right let's store it in a variable so that it will be easy instead of providing entire path let me create a variable string variable so i will say document path okay now here i am going to store that entire string fine so using the string i'll be using that variable i'll be using now okay document path simply have instead of entering the entire path i'll be using the variable now which will be more convenient okay so now let's do one thing first of all instead of document path i can simply use that variable document path which contains the entire string which works well now the next thing what i want here it is again asking me the document path so let me use document path all right that is nothing but the path of that receipt okay uh, where i have stored so it is there in my so you can hit on shift right click copy path in case you wanted to point out to some other some other file later so right now the document path contains the receipt clear is it clear receipt it is containing the receipt okay now here it is asking me the taxonomy for taxonomy we have created a variable right after creating taxonomy in the low taxonomy we have created a variable called taxonomy so i'll be using that variable taxonomy then document text so here what is happening the output is con getting converted into a digital format and i'm storing that into document text variable so here i will say i will use that variable document text now in the digitization process it, we are also creating something called document object model let's say your invoice has four copies five pages seven pages right position so details about the document will be kept inside the document object model so i'm going to use that dom variable here so i'm just providing all the inputs taxonomy i have provided uh, two outputs dom and document text i have provided document path i have provided so i'm linking between the first one and the second one okay this should be clear now once it links the output should be kept so there is an output of each and every activity right so this output once it linked it the output will be stored in control plus k let me create another variable called classification results okay i have created i have already created a variable classification results i am using okay so it is, it is easy to understand so the output has been stored here in the classification results okay this much is clear so what we have done we have understood taxonomy what we have done the variable is taxonomy output in the digitized document we are providing the document path through a variable you can directly also use the path i am using a variable over here and the output is getting stored as a text variable as document text and document object model which contains every each and every details about that document and i am using a ocr so the output would come so the digital output i am using it over here document text as an output variable dom as an output variable taxonomy in from the first low taxonomy that i am using here i am providing the document path and the output is getting stored in the classification results so this should be pretty pretty clear all right now the second step in this one is i have to use a classifier classifier means for example you are provi providing a receipt so after the scanning and everything the output has come so it will use all these inputs and it will understand it is a receipt so for that you will be using an act keyboard classifier or simply type classifier okay so you have something called keyboard okay sorry keyword based classifier okay keyword based classifier so what would happen we will provide certain keywords using which it is going to understand it will learn okay if this keyword is there that means it is a bill so let me show you let's understand okay we'll go slow but we will understand properly so if you look at this receipt so what is there bill is written bill number is written party name is written so anything which has this kind of a data that means it could be a receipt right if this keywords are there then it could be received now if you look at the invoice it has invoice number so if the keyword invoice is there that means it is an invoice if the keyword build to 
right there is some kind of a difference so you will find those specific keywords using which the machine will understand the copy which you have just scanned or just digitized that was an invoice that was a passport that was a so we will use these keywords is it clear now let's go back to the studio and here let me show you it is pretty easy so what happens this keyword so once it does the job if invoice is there that means it should be invoice if bill is there that should be a receipt right we understood this too so to store all the output of all of this we need a json file javascript object notation file so for that what i will do here you uh, in the taxonomy we have created a tax it has created a json file right so what i can do is i will right click i'll copy it and again highlight the document processing right click and paste it okay and i'll give a name i will right click and rename this to keyword keyword classifier you can give or simply say keyword okay click on open so what happened keyword dot json file has been created and let me just point this out click here and go to document processing and here i am saying keyword okay and you will understand i am going to show you that what it contains right now if you open this because we have copied this we will delete we'll clear all the data and save it okay so once it is run i will show you the output what is getting stored there that is very very important to know now once you do this particular step okay I, i hope you are doing along with me so you have done this step and then click on manage learning manage learning and here i am going to use couple of keywords so if you are giving a invoice or a pdf to the entire process you have given a pdf to digitize then you'll understand it was a it was a invoice so how do you how do you get it i'll use some keywords okay let's say invoice number so i'll use this i'll double quote if this contains the keyword invoice then categorize so all these are coming from your taxonomy invoice passport receipt and resume okay all these are coming from taxonomy so it should that means it should be invoice i'll add another keyword if you look at this there is something called build to okay so i will say if the keyword build to is there that means it's supposed to be invoice getting it similar way uh, for receipt i am using only pass uh, invoice and receipt for the time being now for the receipt let's go back uh if bill is there b i l l bill number or bill is there that means it is a so you have to carefully you have to manually do all this so you should be uh, intelligent to select those specific keywords so that the machine learning does its job properly okay then there is something called party name okay so this output if you have seen okay i'll copy directly from here if it contains party name that means it, it is a receipt so let's go back and i will create another keyword under receipt if this contains party name that means it is a receipt okay so you can define as many as keywords that is necessary okay for the learning purpose here i am just doing minimum things so i have done that now the next thing is configure classifier so for everything you have done it invoice receipt you if you are processing passport resume for everything you must have done it now for this particular work i am i want invoice and receipt so only thing you have to do is just select them in uh, invoice and receipt i have selected them rest of all is blank resume is blank passport is blank so i'll be using only this two okay so i'm selecting invoice and receipt so you are just selecting you have created keyboard for everything but for this project you only need for invoice and receipt so you can select what you want if you needs everything then you can select everything okay that's not a problem keyboard based classifier minimum confidence score don't put anything just leave it as it is for the moment okay click on save done so your job is done here so once this is done what happens it once the data is processed over here into digital format and that the output comes over here now it will understand using this output it will and, and the document object model it will understand okay this supposed to be a invoice this supposed to be a receipt this supposed to be a, so whatever you have selected according, according to that it will automatically understand using this key keyword based classifier getting it it is a pretty pretty simple technique just by using the keywords it is understanding what kind of a document it is okay so now let's see the output okay we we have to see the output so that we understand what happens 
so uh, where the output the, what is the output variable output variable is classification results right so let me also show you if i go to project if you open this keyword.json now what happened all the keywords that you have created right so for the document type id enterprise name accounts department invoice the keyword that you have defined for this is the values is invoice getting it invoice you have created one keyword and the next value is build to okay all these keywords we have created now the next document type id hr passport there you have no, not defined any keyword so it is blank now uh, accounts department receipts for receipts you have defined keywords what is the keyword one is bill and uh, the other one uh, last updated 2000 so and so value and the other one is party name right so these are the two things you have defined as keyword so everything is getting stored over in this json file so using this json file it understands what it's supposed to do getting it why we have created this json file okay now let's see the output the output is getting stored here in this particular variable so let me simply use this variable and let's understand what kind of a variable this will be an kind of an array right right okay you can see this kind of an array so what i will do i'll simply use classification results i want to see the first output so which is will be there in the index number zero dot if you click on dot what happens you will find the document type id why i am writing document type id just now i showed you right in the keyword dot json the document type id is equal to invoice if it is invoice that means i will get to know it was invoice if the output comes as a receipt then it is it will be a receipt so document type id i am using okay this is the document type id so here what i will do click on dot and simply say document type id okay so let's see the output so what is our input here we have given the receipt you remember document path is nothing but our receipt document path is nothing but our receipt right okay so let's run it and see the output so it must be very clear classify means it is classifying what you are you have just digitized what kind of a document you have digitized okay so it is it is running so let's wait all right all right so you see the output has come as receipt for example let's change it okay so let's say let me give this as a path let's say this document shift right click copy as path and i will simply go to the variable and in the variable document path i'm going to double click and going to put within double code i'm going to paste this sorry just paste it okay so now it is the invoice dot pdf right so the, the new path i have given so it should right now it should uh, determine this as a invoice okay so let's run it again let's see how it is determining <coughs> okay still running Mm -hmm. okay now you can see it is saying it is it was an invoice just now what you have digitized that was an invoice getting it so it becomes quite easy to understand so we can loop it and provide multiple files so one by one you can get output so that we will do later but again right now you understood right what does classify means okay so classify means very clearly have explained i hope you must have understood what a classify means in UiPath document understanding. So thank you so much for watching. We'll get into our next step. Thank you so much for watching and please do subscribe to our channel and please do like all our videos. Please do share with your friends who are looking for an RPA job who would like to learn RPA. Please do recommend our channel to them. Thank you so much. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.